Hi, Eric with Rocket Inch Farm Toys. Totally stoked to be with you today. I got my brand new box from Shapeways of all the 3D printed items that I've been having created. If you remember from the last video, I had this style of bed right here printed in 3D and it didn't quite turn out right. So the edits are finally back and then uh, in the meantime I've had some other parts including a working hoist made those parts are also in this box and uh, I can't wait to open it up for you and show you what we have so without further ado let's get to work Okay, well they sure do a nice job of packaging at Shapeways, I'll just tell you that. Okay, what we had, what I had was, well let's start with the first bed. That's what initiated all of this 3D business to begin with. And here it is. If you remember, I mentioned in the previous video that the cabinets weren't outlined, didn't have very much definition, door latches, and then of course the fender wells weren't right, so let's see if we got it right this time. I sent the edits to my uh, to the guy that drew it up for me uh, a month and a half ago and finally got this in. And it looks like the front piece of here is still just a bit long, but that's not going to be a huge issue for us. What really is important here is to make sure these fenders are right. And I'm going to suggest that we have a winner. Thank goodness. Very well. Excellent. And really what the problem is, is right here um, on the Transtar that I'm using this bed on, this exhaust is in the way and that's why this isn't fitting quite well. So if you're using like a, a Kenworth or something, a, a Peterbilt or something else, um, you're not going to have that problem because the exhaust should work better. Okay. The cabinet definition looks pretty good. Um, could be even a bit more. It's not quite as good as, say, on a, a spec cast record body if you've seen those. If you've seen those record bodies, those cabinets have a lot of definition, really clean and neat. Um, this doesn't quite have that, but it might be the printing process that I used. Um, you have several choices, and this is the cheapest one. The other one, uh, this has a rough texture instead of a smooth. The next level up is a smooth, is a smooth uh, finish, and this one doesn't have that. Okay, I think we got something that's going to work there fine. Then the next one I had printed was I had this one printed, but it's a flatbed. I had some. Uh, I had a request on the internet. Somebody asked to uh, have this made in a flatbed. So that's it. Uh, identical to this, just no cabinets on the top. So I think that's pretty cool. The um, panel hitch people ask for, eh, not so great. But I didn't know what I was doing, so, and the artist was only going off what I told him, so, uh, well, back to the drawing board on the panel hitch, but. There's something there that looks like one, but if you're going to use it for modeling and put it on the layout or something, it's not going to work. Okay, next. I had uh, the tarp system for my tandems uh, in dumps. I wanted to have a, di a different tarp system made. So I asked another artist, um, Jake, uh, designs by Jake, I think was the company. But an independent guy on the internet, he's the one that drew these up. And then another guy, uh, Donovan, uh, from South Africa, he actually drew this up and then several other parts that I've got in here, so it's pretty cool. Um, but this is, is wicked cool because now I can just set this on a tandem uh, bed. I mean, all you have to do is paint it, and then, boom, you're done. I mean, it's sweet. So that looks like it's going to work. And I mean, 
it, it's very cool. And uh, I mean, the tarp spins are there. There's four tarp spins in it. Oh man, I'm just delighted. I got two trucks waiting for these right here. Then I ask um, Jake, who did the uh, this service bed, I said, "Hey, can you just print the cat?" save the cabinets as a separate file. And so here's what we've got is just the top row of cabinets off of that. They're right here. So if you want to make your own bed, scratch build it out of something or else maybe you want to buy this and then have these separate where you can move them where you want them on the bed. That's now possible. Okay. Um, this isn't going to mean much to you, but um, this is just another thing to make installing a Rock and H grain bed easier. This is the framing that goes on the bottom of the bed. Um, so on this truck, for example, it will actually rest inside the frame, and then the bed sits on there, and then the whole thing goes together. It's a system I designed that works pretty slick. So for me, this is a winner, and it looks pretty good. Um, let me see here. And then this is another cabinet. Yeah, those look great. This is the bottom row of cabinets off of this bed. So, bottom row of cabinets, you can actually put these on top, you put them on bottom, however you want. <clears throat> or you can design your own service bed, and, and then you, if you want some cabinets, well, you got them right here at Rock and H. Finally, this is one I'm really excited for. So, the uh, the fellow that created this and these also created a working scissor hoist with a hydraulic cylinder. All the parts are uh, you have to assemble them. I'd kind of thought with 3D we could get them, you know, get this all together assembled, but it didn't quite work. Oh man, I think this is going to be, well, you might have to do just a little bit of finish work to get this thing to slide together, but I think it's going to be okay. Anyway, golly, and apparently it's just going to snap together. I... Well, what I'm going to do is, uh, shoot another video just showing you how to assemble this later so I'm not going to get into that now but wow it looks like we've got some really awesome stuff here oh wow this is too fun okay Rocket H fans there you have it all the 3D parts came in and I mean we've got a lot of wicked cool stuff here to play with now so uh, be looking for some more videos you can go to www.rockandhfarmtoys.com and you can buy any of these things now. Now that I've had a chance to look at them and inspect them, uh, they meet my standards, and so now they're ready for sale. So I'm just delighted to offer these to you, and uh, more than that, I get to play with them myself, so that's going to be really fun. And uh, I sure appreciate your attention, and thanks for watching this video. Again, don't forget, watch, catch us on www.rockandhfarmtoys.com. Thank you so much. Bye.